Today we're going to be breaking down the brand new BLB Kosher music video featuring Babytron. This music video was put on the Lyrical Lemonade channel so you know it's going to be a banger. Cole really did his thing on this video. But just quickly before we hop right into this breakdown, if you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your edits, my website is the place to go. We got crazy editing packs on there that you guys can use to step up your edits. They're super simple to use, will speed up your turnaround time, and there's so many options on there that are just so easy to use. But let's hop right into this. So first off, we're going to start off with this title right here. I love the way this title looks. We're going to be doing this in After Effects there's a couple of ways you can do it and now we're going to find a 3d model of a tennis ball okay now going through these you want to make sure they're downloadable so i think this is the tennis ball they actually used in the video which is kind of crazy we go ahead and open it up here it looks extremely similar so i'm gonna go ahead and download the 3d model here and we can download it as a glb just to show you guys that we can do the exact same thing in after effects beta so if we do open up the after effects beta here as that glb installs it's just gonna load up super quickly and i'll just show you guys really quickly how you can go ahead and do this in the beta now if you guys don't have the beta you want to go over to the creative cloud app all right now that you're in the creative cloud app you want to go over to apps up here you want to go down to beta apps here and make sure you download the after effects beta update and you can do it just like that so now that we have the after effects beta here i'm just going to open up a new composition and as you guys can see if we take the glb file we downloaded and drag and drop it in here it'll open up right in our project and if we hit ok again we can drag and drop it and boom just like that look how high quality that is if we bring down the transform here and change the scale look how amazing that looks and if we just mess the position as well and then all they really did in the video was just mess with the orientation or the rotation so just like that we could do that so this is the glb way hopefully they update it to go in the after effect version that's released we're just going to go ahead and create the ball moving inside of the after effects beta export it and then put it inside of the other version of after effects so hopefully you guys don't have this error but don't worry it's not gonna happen all the time hopefully they just update it soon so i can drag and drop glbs into the newest version of after effects so i can actually use element for the text but Anyways, we're gonna keyframe the rotations here. And if I go to the end of it and just move them around a little bit, just like so, just like that and like that. I'd say that's pretty good. So now if we hit control M and then we go to export it, make sure you change the export settings. So we're just gonna export it in here and call it ball, hit save. And then for the output, make sure you go up and change it to QuickTime, change it to RGB plus alpha. So that's actually gonna make it a transparent background, like a PNG. So if we go ahead and drag that inside of After Effects now, boom, as you can see, we have the video of the ball moving there. And let's say for example, if we put like a solid behind it, that's purple, boom, as you can see, it's transparent. So we're gonna go ahead and work with that. Now, if we go back to the example of the text here, just like that, uh, literally the exact same ball, that's so funny. So it has like a cool font. So we're going to go inside of element here and recreate this Mazeltron thing. And of course, leave room for the ball to be the O. So turning off the ball for now, go up to text, type in Mazeltron, hit control A. And then if we go over to the side here, we can pick a font that matches it best. I think this one works the most in my opinion. It just needs to be stretched to be taller. So we can go ahead and do that by dragging this up like that. And since we're using element 3D, we're just going to make sure none of the edges are touching on each letter of the word. Or when we do add movement or rotation of them, they'll move as one. So so we have our text there. We're just going to turn it off for now. Then we're going to go and create another layer and let's call this one text. Okay. Now we're going to drag and drop element on top of that. Just like so. Go over to scene setup here. And then now that we're in here, we're going to open up custom layers, go down to custom text and pap layer one. We're going to switch that to Mazeltron and then go up to scene setup. Click on that. We're going to hit extrude and boom, we have our text in here just like that. Now, if we open this up here and click on the bevel, you can go over and change the bevel depth just like so to make it longer, or you can change the bezel size just like that and just mess around with it till you get it to your liking um, i'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker there Actually, that's not touching cool i think that's pretty accurate there and now if you guys want as well you can go ahead and throw textures on it or an environment on it i'm just gonna leave it the way it is and boom just like that as you can see it says mazeltron but we do have an issue we want to replace the ball with the o so going back into our texture what you can actually do is just real time delete it and it will fix just like so so now if i go ahead and take the ball here turn that text layer back on bring down the scale size of the ball just like that you can move the ball just like so and put it in there boom just like that and if you do as well want to have a little bit of the ball peeking in front of the end like they have right here what you can go ahead and do is duplicate the ball drag it on top of the text here and then we can mask this part of it just like so and then open this up here and invert the mask boom so it's in front of that there just like so super sick you can go ahead and add some shadows to the text we go ahead and click on our text layer here and we open up our render settings here we can go under lighting and add 
a single light here. Let's do a spotlight just like that. And uh, if we go down to matte shadow and make sure that's enabled, turn go into shadows, enable, make it ray traced. And then if we go into ambient inclusion, enable AO and make it ray traced as well. So we get those shadows and then playing around with the lights here just by clicking and going through. You can find different looks to make it as accurate to the video as you want, or if you want to go ahead and create something new. So the dramatic one looked pretty cool there. Cinema even looks kind of cool. But yeah, just go through until you find what you're looking for. I think this even matches the video pretty well. If you do want to have them on an angle, just like that, what you can do is go ahead and go over to our text layer here. We're going to go down to group one, open up particle look, go over to multi object, enable it. And if we go over to this one right here called rotation random, what you can do is actually rotate them just like so. So you can get the look just like that. And then even and you guys can mess with that. You can keyframe it as well. So let's say at the beginning here, I keyframe it, have it go out like that. Boom. We have the intro text just like that. So now if you do want to have that kind of like black 8-bit background for everything, we can duplicate the text here, go and put a tint on it. And now that the tint's on it, drag it behind this one. And we're going to set the everything to black. Boom. So as you can see, just like that, if we add a mosaic just like this. So you guys can see it becomes hella 8-bit. Just delete the tritone off of the mosaic here. Hold on. Boom. And then just make sure you turn up the block. So let's make this like 100 and 100. Maybe even make it like 50. And then turn off sharp colors and turn off fractal noise as well. So we have that just like so. And if we turn on the top layer, boom, we have that effect just like that. And boom, we have the intro title text just like that. Super fire and easy. Now moving on to the next one here, guys. If we go ahead and go over to the scene right here, these two scenes, for example, they used a certain lens that had a really, really low f-stops. So as you can see here, everything that's not focused is super blurred out, especially on this scene of Babytron here. Like everything that is like really not his face right here is hella blurred out. Now I'm guessing you guys don't have like $20,000 lenses. So I'm gonna show you guys a super quick editing tip that you guys can use to recreate this effect here. Now, if we go ahead and duplicate this layer on top of it, go over to our mask for opacity right here. And if we just go around Babytron's face, for example, just like this, boom. And then we turn up the feather, something like that. What you can actually do is go ahead and go to the bottom layer now and we can put a blur on it. I'm going to go ahead and use a Gaussian blur and boom, if we go ahead and turn that up, you can get the same sort of look where everything is out of focus except his face. And then just playing around with the mask as well here, the mask feather you can make it less tight or more tight. Totally up to you guys. But that is how you create that look as well. If you don't have a $20,000 lens. Now moving on to our next one, we have this title right here as well. It's pretty much the same as before. We're just going to have this spinning ball, which we created in the After Effects beta here, just by dragging and dropping the GLB in. So if we reset all of these back to what they were, and then if we just spin the ball just like this keyframe it and then spin it just like so you can then go ahead and export it and let's just call this spinning hit save and render it now that we have that rendered we can go ahead and open it here boom we have our spinning ball exactly like this literally the exact same ball i'm pretty sure that's crazy and then the text they use for this as well is helvetica so if we go ahead and click on our text icon here we can go over to our essential graphics and make sure it is helvetica boom and then extend it and now we can go ahead and type lyrical lemonade presents going ahead here you guys can mess with all of these settings here to make it unique and make it to what you guys want we have our lyrical lemonade presents just like that lyrical lemonade lyrical lemonade lyrical lemonade and boom you guys get it pretty easy to recreate there you just want to create a couple other text layers maybe change the font towards the bottom too and then once you have that spinning ball it ties in pretty easily and then moving on to our next one here probably the most complicated one is having these balls bouncing and spinning around the entire scene now there's a couple of ways you can do this and i'm pretty sure you can get away with it super easily just by going ahead if we go back into our after effects beta here what we can do is we can bring the ball size down just like to something about here and then if we bring it over here and then open up our position and just keyframe all these things honestly and if we bring it boom across like that if we go ahead a few keyframes and then bring it boom just like that as you guys can see we have it flying across just like so and if you go ahead and toggle the switch to the modes here you can add motion blur to that so once we have that ball flying across there what we can do is go and set our out point hit Control m go over make it quick time rgb plus alpha hit ok and render it and now going back into premiere we can drag and drop that in there it's called comp one i didn't name it and boom, we have the ball just like that flying across. And as you guys can see, these ones have crazy motion blur on them to make them blend in more. So we can go ahead and add that motion blur just by typing in directional blur, drag and drop that on there. And then we could set the blur length just like that. And then set the angle. And then maybe turn the blur length down a bit just like so. As you can see, we have the ball flying across just like that. And you guys can also duplicate that by holding alt and dragging up. Resize it just like this. 
maybe even rotate it like this way. And we have a few balls lying across there, just like so. We have a couple. And then, for example, we can drag this one there, go over to speed and duration, reverse it. So we have a couple of them there. And as you guys can see, we can even resize it to something like this to match how big this one is, just like that. So that's super easy to do. And if we turn off the video layer, it's pretty much just the balls flying across with radio blur, just like that. And yeah, that's pretty much the breakdown for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning on releasing a lot more videos this month. So make sure you guys subscribe. Like I said, stay tuned. I have two banging videos linked above. I highly recommend you guys go check one of them out. And my editing packs, trust me, they will save you guys. Linked in the description below. Peace.